Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Driven Tech Reviews. Welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since I did this kind of video because I've been focusing more on uh, cars and stuff like that and more DIY projects. But anyways, today I got a pretty interesting product to share with you guys. This is not the latest and greatest product, but this is a product I can definitely recommend to people who want to be content creators or potential content creators and do not want to spend too much on a wireless mic so i know there are many good options out there like the one from road from dji in fact i was actually aiming for the one from dji but anyways thanks to my wife who actually got this for my late christmas present because i do a lot of shoots for cars and i wanted something that wasn't too expensive that i could stick to the bumper and record like the, the exhaust notes and one maybe in the engine bay to record the intake sounds and stuff like that so that was actually my purpose of uh looking at something like that but anyways what we have here is the boya boya link so this is uh, sort of like i would say the higher tier of mics from this company so the best thing about this is that as you can see right here you just have to buy one mic and you can use it for your camera for your iphone for your android all right so let's quickly get through the unboxing so just a disclaimer the audio you're hearing now is actually from the iPhone 15 Pro mics, so they are in stereo. But as soon as we hook this up to the iPhone with USB-C, you're going to hear the difference. Alright, so multi-compatible 2.4 GHz dual channel wireless microphone system. And yeah, all this as well, so you can use it for tablets and computers. If you do a lot of zoom calls, you want some clearer audio, because this has also noise cancellation built in. So it's pretty awesome. You can see right here the three different connectors. So you have a lightning connector, you have a 3.5 mm, as well as a USB C. So bear in mind, if you lose one of these, you can still purchase it on their website or like on Lazada, the official store. So that's a good thing that they do sell spare parts along with their mics. Alright, so you can see it comes with three different adapters as well. I told you about you can see it's very compact and portable, it's really really small. You can see it's HD noise cancellation. And you can use it while charging. You can see right here, two times recharging. You have mono and stereo output, which means that there are two mics inside here, which means you can use it for the left and the right channel as well. So it has a range of 100 meters. So you can see what comes in the box. Two, two transmitters, one receiver, obviously. USB-A to USB-C cable for charging. You can see it's MFI certified lightning adapter. Of course, I do not use uh, lightning anymore because I've upgraded all to my iPhone 15s. Um, and also my iPad is on USB-C as well. So you can see right here, we do have a 3.5mm TRS adapter. You have a USB-C adapter for your Android and your iPhones. And of course, you have the windshield as well, which is like sort of a very mini dead cat. And of course, you have the charging case. So you can see this package is actually pretty small, as you can already see from here. So it has two years warranty with this. All right, so let's uh, do the unboxing treatment. Slide this bottom one out, and then we'll do the top as well. Okay, so we have nothing else inside the box. Okay, let's see what we have here in this uh, probably not so interesting box. So I get the contents out. So silica gel, definitely a must. We have the USB-C to USB-A cable. Very, very nice. We have quite a lot of goodies in the box. So we definitely have I believe this is some um, warranty card, instruction manual, but it's a quick start guide. It's how to use it. Yeah, we have to figure that out as we go. And then of course we do have the carrying case. Uh, the carrying case is not stated on the packaging, but it's good that they actually give a very nice microfiber carrying case. Really nice, nice touch there. All right, so let's focus on the start of the show itself. The Boya Link. So we don't have anything else. Of course, it doesn't come with a charger. You can actually just use any charger. I believe it would charge from USB-C to USB-C as well. Well, I do have to test it out. Uh, I can't be sure, but I guess this should work since it is not really need of uh, like a data transfer or anything. All right. So this is, uh, is basically a very basic mic. I should say it doesn't have any inbuilt recording, inbuilt storage or anything like that. But definitely it does get the job done. If you're just looking for like a mic for like basic use. Alright, so right here we have 
the Boya Link. It's pretty small. All right, guys, so we have my AirPods here. So we will just compare the size of what this has a Pitaka casing. As you can see right here, approximately the size of uh, two plus AirPods. So yeah, it's considered pretty compact for what actually you're getting in this package. So let me open it the right way. So let's uh, press and see. So this shows your charging light indicator. Shows you how much battery you have in this case. So every dot means 25%. So 25, 50, 75, 100%. So it's good that it comes out the box already charged. All right, so right here we have the receiver itself. Because we do have to peel off the tape. Which we will do right now. Yep, super satisfying. So you can see it's in this gloss black with the Boyer logo. So it's attached now with the TRS 3.5mm connector, which most likely you can just slip it out uh, with the push of this lever right here. You can see the charging contacts are right here. So we will definitely have to pull that out in order to get this charge, I believe. Yes, I think we have to do that, but we will do that in a bit. Okay, so what else do we have? We have this dead cat right here. Very nice and compact. Okay, let's take out the other two connectors. So we have one right here. This is the USB-C. It's all magnetic, so you can see nothing is falling out. Really nice. And we have one more here, which is lightning. So if you're still using a uh, older iPhone, maybe until the iPhone 13 or 14, you definitely have uh, no issues with using this mic. Alright, so let's take out the first mic. So you can see right here, let's peel off the sticker. Okay, so first one's out. Same thing as the receiver right there. Okay, let's see, Boya logo. What else do we have? We have a tape definitely. We have a clip. So it looks kind of fragile. Reminds me of those uh, earbuds where you can actually clip onto your shirt or something. Yeah, these things are pretty fragile at this point right here. I hope they do sell parts, but I doubt so. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, what button is this. Am I putting it the right side? Yeah, this way. Alright, so it shows mute. Of course, this is also the power button you can see right here. Of course, this is for the noise reduction, I believe. And probably the gain. You have to figure that out. Alright, so the first one is done. Let's take out the second one. Pull off the sticker. Really nice, same thing. So we have two right here. So very nice. All right, so let me get this set up and then we will try it on with my iPhone 15 Pro. All right, so we have actually cleaned up the table a bit so we can actually have a better look at this mic. All right, so you can see I've actually pulled up the tabs and they are actually charging now. I forgot to mention is that there are a couple of buttons right here. So this is the power on and then we have mono and stereo m for mono s for stereo so if you do want to use both of these mics in stereo mode you just have to switch it onto stereo and then you can use both and you will have left and right channel so another thing is that i've actually figured this out so you do have to pull the tap back you know to switch the connector pull it back slide this thing out you can see the pogo pins you can actually just switch them out it's super simple so i'm going to switch them out for the usb-c one you just have to slide them in Doing it from behind the camera. Oh, I actually missed it. All right, let's give this a second try. Let me just clean the pins out. Make sure they're not greasy. Okay, just like that, you have to click and then we're in business. All right, so let me get this uh, plugged in. So, but before that, let me just take out one of the transmitters. You can see they instantly pair. You can see they are both blue. If I put one of these back in, you can see it should start searching and you can see right here but a minute i take this out really really quick all right so now you are hearing audio from the iphone let me try to plug this in and then we will try to hear the difference okay okay now all right so you should be hearing audio from the wireless mic so let me know how it sounds like so i'm actually not using the dead cat you can see the dead cat is here but you can actually just screw it on to the top part of the mic so i hope the mic is on 
I can't actually see anything on the screen because with the default uh, camera app, you're not going to be able to see the the level, the audio level. But I hope the mic is working. All right, guys. So I'm actually pretty impressed with how the mic sounds. I did check the video before proceeding because I did want to make sure that the mic was working. Actually, the mic does sound really, really clean. It does cancel out the noise as you compare it with the iPhone mic. And it's actually sounding really, really good. Okay, now we're going to put this transmitter back. And we're going to pick out the one that's actually charging. So let's see how fast it switches. Alright, you can see it's actually connected. Okay, now we are on the other transmitter. So there are two transmitters. And uh, honestly, I'm really, really happy. I'm really, really happy that the audio is super clean from a mic that actually costs, I should say, like quarter of the price of like the DJI's and the, the Rode ones. And how compact the size of the carrying case is and, and it also charges. You can't get anything better than this, I should say. So if you're interested, I will definitely leave the link in the description below. Uh, definitely, I'm really, really excited to try this out. I'm actually interested to try the noise cancellation. So I just plugged it in and you could hear the difference instantly. Of course, the iPhone was picking it up in the stereo mode. But the Boya was using it in mono mode. Of course, they do have a stereo mode. Uh, or maybe we should try the stereo mode out. Or let me just uh, pick up one more of this mic. You can see both of these mics are active. Okay, let me just switch it to stereo. Alright, so now we're in the stereo mode. I'm not sure which one is right, which one is left. I can't really see. Uh, honestly, I don't even know which is right, which is left. No, they do not have like any indicator whatsoever. Okay, so I'm just going to talk to the one in my right hand. So this is right, I assume, and this is left. So let me know how it actually sounds like. So this is in stereo mode, and I'm going to switch it back to, to a mono mode. Put one back, switch it back to... Okay, so this is back in mono mode. So let me know how my voice actually sounds like. For me, I've actually heard the footage, and for me, I feel it sounds pretty clean. Of course, hearing it from the iPhone speaker, uh, you can't really say that much. Alright, so I'm really happy with this mic and I definitely can recommend to, to content creators that are pretty new and they just want something which can go like at least a couple of feet away. They want to talk something but not buying like a shotgun mic or whatever. So this is actually a pretty good solution. Alright, so thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys like this video. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. I'll catch you guys in the next video.